guys, so tonight I'm going to show you just an easy, fast, quick meal if you don't have a lot of time, like myself. Um, we had a long day at karate today, and I've just been running around, and my daughter had the dentist appointment, so it's one of those days. So if you have one of those days, um, I found these, and I did a video when I did a mini shopping haul video, but I found these al fresco roasted garlic chicken sausages. Um, they are three points. I wrote on the back here. It's three points for one, and if you eat two, it goes up to five points. Um, there's four and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and cook all four tonight, just so that I have. Uh, I'm gonna eat two tonight and then two tomorrow. And then just already cut, um, ready to go broccoli. So even though these usually say they're already yeah, see they're already washed and trimmed, I still prefer to throw it in my strainer and wash it one more time. Um, so what I'm using tonight is going to be my air fryer and I have that preheating right now at 400 degrees. I am going to cook the sausages for about 10 to 12 minutes. The book doesn't really have anything for chicken sausage so I'm just kind of going off uh, in general sausage link. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how this goes. As always, you know me, freestyling. <laughs> and then I have this little contraption here. If you don't have one, get one. This is a um, steamer. And I don't know what brand this is. I've had it for a long time. It just says the best wear. So I'm not sure. Look at the sticker, you guys. It's old. Like, it's really old. So anyways, um, I'm going to just throw the broccoli in. Oops. I don't want to spill it because I'm on the phone. And you just pile your broccoli in, cover it up, and then you just microwave it. Um, it depends on how much vegetables you have in here, but it could be four minutes, six minutes. Um, I've done spaghetti squash in here, so it's really great to have one of these handy. Quick. There you go, al fresco chicken sausages. Um, it's the same brand as the chicken bacon, so um, I thought I'd give it a shot, and and that's it, you guys. So once I'm done cooking the sausage, I will come back. It just beeped, so it's ready for me to put them in. Um, I will come back and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, guys, my first 12 minutes just went off, and I'm almost wondering if I don't need to cook them anymore. I checked them like halfway through because I heard them like popping open. <laughs> but look how huge these things are. So I'm going to say just the 12 minutes is perfectly fine. I think what I'll do is a quick uh, reading on the temperature. And then I'll list it in the description um, how many minutes I ended up cooking it. But this looks done to me. This is how they look when I do them usually in my new wave oven. This is a new wave air fryer, but I also have a new wave oven. So... This looks done to me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I'm gonna throw my broccoli in for about probably four minutes. Okay guys, so I just looked at, cause I had another package in the um, refrigerator. Anyway, it's, they're fully cooked. I should have mentioned that, but they're fully cooked. But it does say that they should be at 165, the internal temperature. So, let me <laughs> figure this out. There we go. So let's check the temperature here. So it says 165. Boom. We already got it. So yeah, these are fully cooked. Um, 12 minutes in the air fryer. There you have it. Okay, you guys. So while I was waiting, since the sausage got done quicker than I anticipated, and I was waiting on the broccoli, I decided to cut up some mini heirloom uh, tomatoes and some avocado 46 grams two points worth and what i'll do is i'll end up just probably squeezing a little bit of lemon and salt and pepper on this and kind of just eat it like a little salad so i probably won't even eat all of this but in fact i'm gonna put the, that away for tomorrow and then i've got my can't believe it's not butter zero point butter uh ready for my broccoli Okay, so the broccoli is finished. I had it in just for four minutes. 
I like my broccoli where it's still like a little bit of crunchy, not too soggy. And the reason I like that is because on the first night I can eat it like this and then as everyone knows, once you store it overnight and try to eat it and warm it up again, it gets even more cooked. So, go ahead and throw some broccoli on here. That looks good. And I got my little tomato avocado salad. Okay guys, so I pulled out my two chicken sausage links and I just sliced it and I put a little, can't believe it's not butter on my broccoli and a little salt and pepper. And that's what I'm eating for tonight. How's that look? And this is gonna be a total of five points for the sausage and because I still had points, extra points for the night, I added the avocado. So two extra points for my avocado. And look at that, no two ingredient dough and no bread and no tortillas. <laughs> Yay me tonight. Bye guys, have a good one.